I am getting ready to do card 9 and 10 for the full deck redo of the cards that I did in 2021. So this year, full deck redo 2022 is what I'm doing, one card per week. However, I'm a week behind. So I'm going to be working on both the 9 that you see here, which last year I did this pretty primitive doodle of a house. And I am also going to redo the 10, which was a doodle of a flower on top of watercolor. So we shall be using the watercolors and redoing these again. My name is Peg, and I hope you'll check me out on other places you can find me on the web. Not too great with Instagram yet, but I'm trying. I like to create videos that are short, to the point, like to tell you what I'm going to do, do it, and then show you what I've done. If you like that format, please hit that subscribe button. And of course, those thumbs up help my channel exponentially. So thank you very much for those. So this is a nine that I've been working on. And I did it two or three times. I Last year, I very sloppy doodle of the houses. I tried to do this um, doodle with watercolor. Never really liked what I came up with, redid it twice, so I scrapped that, and I'm going to redo that one. I also did the 10 already and wasn't happy with the final look of that one, and I decided this year if I'm not happy with it, I'm not putting it up on my wall, and I'm not posting it. So let's redo this 9. I am utilizing a sheet of watercolor paper, just 140 pound inexpensive watercolor paper. I will cut this out to fit on top of the card. So I'm just getting that dimension and cutting myself a strip of this watercolor paper. And I will measure it with the card size, both horizontal and vertical. And we shall get that and then tear off a slight corner because I want to show the denomination of all of the cards this year. So I'm just folding that down so I know where to tear. And now I'll just glue that to the card, allow that glue to dry, and we will get to decorating on these two cards. And I'll catch up by doing both of them in this one video. So there are our substrates ready to go. And just trimming the corners to round them in concert with the card. So there is the 9, there is the 10. Grab myself some clean water. Get the watercolor paints opened up. Clean brush. And we are off. Just putting a little moisture on the paper. And now I am just blobbing. Now this I picked up by watching a video of CC Creation. I'm going to post that in the description below. Because she is the one that draws these little pods. I want to try them. So I thought this would be a good time to try that out. And... As I play with learning these watercolors, I thought this was a pretty easy thing for me to do. So she was illustrating her pods with just a lead pencil, and I shall be doing the same. So check out her video. It's in the link below. She inspired this card completely, and I want to give credit where credit is due because this was not my idea. So I'm just drawing this little pod shape, putting a faint little stem on them, and I shall doodle on the inside. I'm looking for my circular template, and I thought I would just put a little circle. I'm not really following any... Um, plan on these doodles. I'm just trying to, to get something inside them. And I thought I would put that little circle there and draw some lines out from the side of it. And 
little zigzag down through this one. And now I think I'll do some straight lines and maybe some horizontal lines in this one as well. Let's just call that an intuitive doodle. I am going around the outside edge of this with a bronze gilding paste. I'm just using my finger to spread it. And now what I'm doing a little differently with these as I've pulled out the liquid pearls and I am adding to the doodle, accenting some of the little dots that I've drawn on there or some of the little circles that I've drawn, drawn on there. I think I'll go down, up and down these little zigzag lines, every other one, and just generate some additional interest on this card. Put some dots along the edges randomly. And I think that we shall call that card complete. So there you go, one down. I kind of like the way this one turned out. So let's get started on the number 10. Drawing that cone flower, I start with a half circle, draw one petal in the middle and three petals on each side of the middle petal. On the top cone, just tiny little circles, one right after the other, to create the kind of seed look. And that, and I think this will work for the cone flower. And there we go. All those seeds in place. Now let's add a little stem, a couple of little leaves. And get the watercolor out to color this in. I'm going to Give it a buff, Titan buff background here. And that's the colors that I've been using as the Titan buff and the um, blue and a Indian red. I'm just adding some darkness there on this side. I'm going to dry that. and create the pod with the raw umber. And then come back with the lighter of the blues. I'm just creating that a little darker to add some dimension into that those petals. Dry that, see where we are. And I'm darkening up this green because I don't want a real brilliant green on here. And there you go. I think that completes the coloring of this flower. And now I'm just going to grab my micro pen. It's a number five and go around those pencil lines. And do the same thing in the cone. Go over those little circles on the inside to generate that dimension. Give the leaves some formation. And I think we're pretty good. So now I want to... I have this new um, embossing folder I purchased, and it's these 
circles. And I thought this would be a great way to illustrate this card. So I ran that through my embossing folder and you can see the dimension that it added. And I want to utilize that bronze gold on, or the bronze on this one as well. So I'm rubbing over the top lightly to get the embossed pieces highlighted in that bronze. And go around the outside edge as well. And now back with the liquid pearls to add some little drops on the side. And I think we have quickly and easily completed two cards. So here is the redo of the number nine, the redo of the number 10. And I am happy with them both now. And I think that I can call these two finished for 2022. So thank you very much for joining me on this quest to complete 52 cards in 52 weeks. I'm sorry I'm a week behind, but we're caught up now. And next week we will be doing the Jack of Spades. And I hope that you will take a moment, subscribe to my channel, your comments are always very welcome. I love to read what you have to say and I respond to every comment and the thumbs up does help my channel in getting seen, getting viewed, etc. So if you'll give me a thumbs up, I would appreciate that as well. So thank you very much. Bye for now.